Tears of the Kingdom has tons of easter eggs and secrets scattered across its massive open world. Discovery has always been an important part of Zelda games, so Nintendo didn't hold back when populating the world with exciting things for players to find. With decades worth of games and lore to pull from, there's a little something for fans of each installment to be on the lookout for. In this video, we are going to talk about 10 interesting secrets and easter eggs that you most likely missed in Tears of the Kingdom. Be sure to watch the whole video and tell us in the comments if you found any of these secrets during your first playthrough. Warning! Minor spoilers ahead! Vintage Outfits and Weapons You may have seen clips of players running around Tears of the Kingdom wearing outfits and weapons from older games. These secret outfits were first thought to only be obtainable using an amiibo. It turns out that a variety of different outfits for Link by trading pose at bargainer statues found all over the world. This includes the famous blue tunic from Breath of the Wild. If you don't know, Poes are small glowing spirit orbs that can be found scattered around the depths. Poes you have collected can be traded at various bargainer statues for rewards like weapons and armor. You will need a lot of Poes to unlock everything, so you should definitely pick up any that you see while traversing the depths. Nostalgic Fabric Atop the Temple of Time Stepping into the Temple of Time for the first time in Breath of the Wild is one of the greatest moments in gaming history. Paying homage to that, Nintendo placed a special gift for anyone feeling nostalgic on top of the temple in Tears of the Kingdom. Upon returning to the Temple of Time, players who reach the top of the ruins will find the nostalgic fabric paraglider design waiting for them. Paraglider designs are a great new addition in Tears of the Kingdom, and at least 40 have been found in-game so far. The nostalgic fabric design is actually the same one given to Link by the King in Breath of the Wild. If you are a serious Breath of the Wild fan, you are definitely going to want to make the trip to pick this up. Wind Waker Throwback while exploring, you are likely to come across the unfortunate Lurillin village, which has been taken over by a band of marauding pirates. Many fans think this is a callback to Outset Island in Wind Waker. It makes sense, considering both villages need to be rescued by Link in similar ways. When players come across Lurillin village, they will notice it is overrun with pirates. It is up to Link to clear out these invaders before helping to rebuild the village. This is a very similar plot to the side quest found in Outset Island, but has several new plot points and gameplay elements added. So, if you are looking to relive your pirate bashing days from Wind Waker, Lurillin Village has what you are looking for. Humming Link While roaming the wilds and tears of the kingdom, you may notice Link humming to himself. This is a fun little detail that adds a lot of life and character to Link and the game as a whole. But have you noticed Link humming one of the most famous Zelda songs of all time? There is a small chance that Link will begin to hum Saria's song to himself while traveling. Fans of Ocarina of Time probably noticed this right away, as it is one of the most popular songs out of the whole series. This is a nice throwback to the N64 days that shows Nintendo still appreciates the classics. If you want to hear Link humming an iconic Zelda tune, the best way to do so is to cook a meal. There are several iconic Zelda songs that you could potentially hear, so be sure to listen closely when cooking. Small details like this are a good showcase of how Nintendo built on the already successful framework of Breath of the Wild. Lawn Lawn Ranch still in business. While visiting Link's house early in the game, you can stop by the nearby Hateno village. There, you will find an easter egg tucked away in the form of some fresh milk. If you look closely, you may notice that the logo seems familiar. That's because this milk came from none other than the legendary Lon Lon Ranch. The ranch has been a fan favorite location for decades. Every Zelda fan remembers meeting Talon and Malin for the first time, and more importantly, Epona. If you pass by some fresh milk wearing the Lon Lon Ranch logo, don't hesitate to grab some. Fresh milk is one of the most useful items in the game. It's a primary ingredient in some of the best recipes and can even be used to regain a pretty significant amount of health. Zelda's Hair Tie Memento This next easter egg can also be found near Hateno Village. This one requires a bit of work to get, but has a really good payoff at the end. In Hateno Village, players can find Zelda's secret well and travel down it to reach a chest. 
Inside the chest, players will find the well-worn hairband and Zelda's diary. The well-worn hairband item is actually the same hairband that Link wore in Breath of the Wild. Reading Zelda's diary reveals that she had been holding on to the hairband as a keepsake. She also mentions that she has put in an order for a new champion's tunic for Link. This will start a pretty lengthy side quest called A New Champion's Tunic. This is another neat Breath of the Wild easter egg that players could easily miss if they don't know where to look. If you're enjoying the video, please take a second to like and subscribe. Maybe even hit the bell while you're at it. Now on to the next easter egg. Yiga Clan Returns You may remember getting jumped by the Yiga Clan countless times in Breath of the Wild. Well, it seems like their grudge has carried over to Tears of the Kingdom. When exploring the depths, you'll find yourself having to fight off waves of the Yiga clan, who seem to remember Link pretty well. If you go deep enough, you may even run into a familiar face and a big surprise. I can't say too much without spoiling it, but let's just say Link has a fight ahead of him. It's cool to see a beef carryover from Breath of the Wild that allows players to handle things once and for all with the Yiga clan. Fierce Deity Armor The Fierce Deity Armor is some of the best armor in Tears of the Kingdom. That makes sense when you consider the fact it is based on the Fierce Deity Mask from Majora's Mask. If it's been a while since you played it, the Fierce Deity Mask is the final and most powerful mask Link obtains in the game. The mask is used during the final boss fight and gives Link a major power boost. Fans of Majora's Mask will notice the familiar design as well as the power boost Link receives while wearing the armor. To get the armor, players will need to complete a particular Misko's treasure quest. This quest will send players on a journey across the surface of Hyrule. Once completed, players will not only have access to the fierce deity armor, but the sword that matches the set as well. Old Kings in Tears of the Kingdom, you may have come across Rauru, a Zonai that plays a major role in the story of the game. What you might not know is that Rauru is actually a nod to the first king of Hyrule. That's right, both characters share the same name inspired by a sage from Ocarina of Time. A fun fact, the name actually originated in Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. It was the name of a town that Link passed through during the game. It's interesting to see how the use of the name has evolved over the years. This is an easy detail to miss unless you've kept up with your Zelda lore. Pura's Growing Pains when Link met Pura in Breath of the Wild, she had the appearance of a little girl. It's only later revealed by reading her diary that Pura is actually 124 years old. Her appearance in Breath of the Wild is the result of a botched de-aging experiment. So you can imagine players' surprise when they ran into Pura in Tears of the Kingdom, and she looks several years older. Her new design is much more similar to the one in Age of Calamity. It's estimated that only 3-5 to five years have passed since Breath of the wild. So how exactly did Pura get so much older so fast? Well, hunting down Pura's diary again will reveal that she has finally mastered her de-aging experiments. She was able to age herself up to a more practical age, a decision that few could blame her for. This explains why only Pura is older and everyone else from Breath of the Wild looks basically the same. This is a nice detail and one that encourages exploration and reading the lore located in various parts of the world. That wraps up this video on 10 secrets you missed in Tears of the Kingdom. Let us know down in the comments what easter eggs and secrets you've found. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check back for new videos every week.